So despite uh, recent publications that uh, suggest equivalence in survival between patients undergoing partial nephrectomy and radical nephrectomy, it's without question that patients following radical nephrectomy uh, develop a chronic kidney disease at a much higher rate than patients undergoing partial nephrectomies. I think it's important to preserve nephrons for the long term, especially in younger patients who have many, many more years to live and who could develop uh, chronic kidney disease even without undergoing a surgery. As far as uh, selecting patients for the right approach, I think all modalities for treatment of the renal mass should be considered, uh, assuming it is cancer. Uh, so we should con uh, start with active surveillance, cryoablation, partial nephrectomies, radical nephrectomy. I think the entire spectrum should be considered and the appropriate approach used taking into consideration the patient as a whole as well as the tumor and the surgeon. I think all three factors here are important. So I would first make a decision on what is the best approach. Let's assume the options are partial versus a radical. I would then decide this is going to be a partial or a radical. The next question to myself is which approach would I use which is best for the patient with the least chance of risk of complications. And I think that's the, the key. It's just not the, uh, the, the patient and the tumor, but also the surgeon's experience in making that decision. If partial nephrectomy is indeed the best for the patient, doing a radical nephrectomy just because it's easier would be not the right thing to do.